Yes, today, I found a really cool down jacket from Canada Goose, so I would like to introduce it to you. So, the other day, when I was filming a shopping video at Loftman, I thought, oh, this is cool, oh, they have a down jacket, I saw it at a glance, oh, it says Canada Goose. The moment they asked me to wear it once, I said I'd buy it, and I bought it, but when you say Canada Goose, isn't this what you think of? Is it the long, fluffy one? Yes, I thought this type, but they only had this short one. This is apparently called the Fraser Bomber Jacket Keket, and it's actually a Japan-only item. Japanese people like this kind of thing, don't they? The moment they hear something is limited, or a limited item, or a Japan-only item, I'm like, oh, I like it, I want to buy it, and it worked perfectly. So I wore it, and I think it's also a Japan-only item, but I'm wearing a size L so, I usually wear a Canada Goose shirt in a size L, but it's a bit difficult because of the size of the shirt. Usually, people go down one size, but in my case, it was tight, so I wear a size L I usually wear a Japanese size L, a shirt L, and this Canada Goose Fraser Bomber Jacket is also L so I think it might be better to come here once. Well, to be cautious, I'm 178 centimeters tall, and if you talk about famous people, Namihei San, the same as Namihei San, is 178 centimeters tall, so it's like this. But actually, Namihei San is about 53 or 54 years old, but do you know what year he was born? Actually, he was born in 1895. He was born before the war. So I thought that someone born in 1895 would be someone you'd see in a textbook. But since Namihei is a familiar character to us, I thought he'd be around 1950, but if someone was born in 1800, he'd be over 100 years old if he were alive today. So if you look at it, you'll see that he looks like this. Cool. It's kind of cool, but it's cool. When I wonder why, I think that Canada Goose is an outdoor brand, and it has a certain rustic feel, but it doesn't have the cheapness of an outdoor brand, like North and Patagonia, which have a slightly cheap feel, but it doesn't have that at all. So I get the impression that it's finished like this. So if you look for a similar jacket, I think there are some that are much cheaper, but the MA1 type of similar ones are always a bit too much. In the end, it becomes a strange rectangle. So, I think that it's better to carefully work out the pattern for this kind of thing, but I'd like to take a look at that together. First of all, this is an MA1 jacket. So, I think military fashion is a trend in Japan today, so if you cut it nicely, you can wear it with slacks and a knit, which is very mature, but when you hear Massachusetts one, you always wear it with a lot of clothes, so you can wear it with cargo pants, for example. If you wear jeans, it becomes a jacket. So when it becomes a jacket, everyone has their own logos and patches, so it's a little black. So, don't put too many patches on it, just keep it simple, and when you go out with your wife, it's a little calmer. Otherwise, if you think, oh, George Takoro is here, so let's dress like George Takoro, then you end up choosing the person who will wear it. You have to be very selective. So, for example, how about matching it with a zipper like this? Well, this is it. It's not that bad, but it does have a bit of a smell to it. It has a sudden, masculine feel to it, but if you want to go for a casual look, then that's fine. You could wear it like an MA1 jacket. The original way to wear an MA1 jacket is to wear it in a military style, and I think it's natural to wear it casually but without some elegant elements it comes off as a bit too cheesy, and I think that if you wear cargo pants then that would really be a turn off, but if it goes like this then some people might think it looks pretty good, and others might think that it looks like a volunteer soldier, that it's a military uniform they're volunteering for. I think people will probably be quite choosy when it comes to matching it with a more casual look, so I would like people to be careful. But if you want to go for a more casual look, I think it's fine as it is, but it's just a formality. And as for the shape, the way the ribbing around the wrist is tightened is really sloppy. It would be weird if it was too loose or too tight, but they redo things like this many times when making samples. And brands without money can't do that in 1 cm increments, but brands that are reasonably priced like this remake things many times, so they pay attention to these little details, and the neck, wrists, and hem are well occupied, which makes it look stylish. I think that the way they calculate it is very Canada Goose-like, and I think that's because they're more expensive than regular outdoor brands, and I also want you to look at the fabric, which is rare when it comes to high-end brands, but if you look closely, it's black, but I think it looks a little grayish, and the reason is that it's really matte, so, it's matte, and if you look even closer, you'll see that it uses ripstop fabric, ripstop is a ripstop fabric that is woven like this to make it less likely to tear, but it's definitely something that's used for outdoor activities, well, Canada Goose isn't outdoor, but I think it's also a brand for sports, so it uses durable materials, and it's properly guaranteed as a symbolic value. And the down filler, the one they used until now, hey, Canada Goose, they use duck. And Canada Goose, who used to say that 625 fill is only available at Uniqlo, is using 750% for this jacket. So the numbers have gone up. So, was this from a Japan-only product? 
I haven't looked at other companies, so I don't know, but I don't know if everything has gone up since this year. But Canada Goose itself has been changing little by little, and now this fur model is no longer available, and you'll see it in stores now, but that's the last production run. So, since they don't make them anymore, they will disappear as they sell, and conversely, if they still have it, it must be a model from several years ago. The fur part of the current model is already in a different shape, so even just that one fur has disappeared or changed specifications. So I have the impression that the quality of the down has also been improved to 750 fill. And, look at the filler, the canopy height is like this. It feels so fluffy. If you ask what's good about the canopy height being higher like this, it's warmth, of course, and it wraps you up and keeps you warm. But there are other things that cheap down doesn't have. But when you come in, you get hot and you get all fuzzy, right? When you get fuzzy like this, the down absorbs the moisture. It regulates the temperature, but small down doesn't do that. So when it gets to 600% or 700, it's not that bad, but when it gets to 700 or more, it has a certain quality, and when it gets to 900, it's even better, but if the filler is high, it's not about over spec or anything like that, but the higher the filler, the more suitable it becomes for humans, and it adjusts, which is the benefit of the filler going up. However, the price will skyrocket, but the other day, a person from a down company came to say hello and we talked and down has gone up by 10,000 yen per kilogram. When did this go up? Six months ago. It's gone up by 10,000 yen just six months ago, so it's going up and up and up to 10,000 yen per kilogram. For example, if it was 40,000 yen before, it's now 50,000 yen. So it might be six layers again in six months, and it might be seven layers again in six months after that, and it's already skyrocketing. So, well, 750 power isn't that expensive yet, but this jacket is about 125,400 yen. When I thought about it, Canada Gus usually costs around 200,000 yen. To be honest, I didn't think I needed 200,000 yen for this spec. That's because I don't have many opportunities to wear it, and it's easy to move in, and it doesn't have any high fillers or anything like that. So if it costs 200,000 yen, I think it's perfect for the chosen ones, like people who go to Antarctica. So, I want you to take a look at this. Are there people like this in the world? Wearing military pants like this, with a military jacket like this, this is a real volunteer. So, I'm not talking about volunteers, but rather two-headed soldiers. Err, this is a real low-ranking soldier, but you don't see this very often, do you? This style. Well, to be honest, I don't think it's very suitable for the Japanese climate. Well, I think it's different in Hokkaido, but if you think about the climate in urban areas of Japan, if this costs 240,000 or 30,000 yen, this one is not so expensive at around 120,000 yen. But if you just look at the price, it's expensive. If you just look at the price of 120,000 yen, it's really expensive. But when you compare it to the quality, it doesn't seem so expensive, and on the contrary, it seems expensive. It's not expensive for 20 pieces, but when you compare it to the quality, I think it's a little expensive, but then this down jacket is good, but, well, there is a slight disadvantage. What is it? Well, this, the inside is really well made. This lining, the part where it switches to the outer fabric, and the zipper on the inner pocket, what happens when you bring this kind of lining to this extent? I think you've all experienced this, but if you make it all lined, it will get stuck. There are cheap down jackets that often get caught in the zipper and they take that into consideration and use different fabrics here. And of course they can make it not look like that with the pattern, but there are things like that. And also, they are made to fit the Japanese body type, and are made to be cut neatly. So it doesn't seem to be made to be cut too oversized. But what are the disadvantages? Well, there are three types of Japanese body types, and this can be done for people with waves or natural hair, but it's completely useless for straight hair. So, I'm sure you don't know what I'm talking about, but what I'm talking about is, for example, Baltro is the easiest to understand, but I think there are people who look good in Baltro and people who don't. It's not about whether you have a good or bad face, it's a matter of shape. There are people who look good with volume on the upper half of the body, people who look good with a glimpse of volume all over the body, and people who look good with volume on the lower half of the body. But I have wavy hair, so the higher it is, the better it looks. That's why it's the same with MA1, but the volume is on top, so it ends up being just short. I'm pretty good at bringing volume on top with this kind of thing. So I can wear something like a Valtra, but there are people who have worn Valtra but it didn't look good. It's a shape that's hard to suit those people. Oh, I see. Even with short hair, the image is so different. So, even if it's short, if you wear a normal Blosen or a Zan that is made to be slim, rather than a down jacket, it's pretty easy to go with it. But with down jackets and the like, the volume comes out little by little, so it's easy to see whether it suits you or not. So at first glance, you might think, oh, I look cool, but please wait a little. So, what did you think of Baldur up until now? Did you feel annoyed when you came to Baldur? I did. It might be better to wait a little. Try wearing it once and showing it to your wife. After you come, see your wife's reaction. If your wife says something like that, it's a good sign that you should stop wearing it. So I think it's better to stop wearing it. So, up until now, she's told me that Baldur suits me really well. Oh, okay. The bottom part is at the level of, you can buy it yourself. So I think this type is quite clearly divided, so I want you to be careful. Disadvantages of the product.
When it comes to what is the disadvantage of this product, honestly, there is nothing that I personally think is particularly bad. I don't really think it's a, wow, they're using really bad materials, or the zipper is bad, or anything like that. But one thing I'm wondering about is that if some Japanese down manufacturer were to make this type of jacket seriously, it could be of better quality and cheaper. I would like to see something like that. So, since it's made from overseas, the price is of course included, the overseas prices are included, the shipping costs are included, and the full tax is included, so the price is up, but if they were to release this, I think they could sell it for 750F right away. I think if they made a pattern like this and made it closer to perfection, and used better materials, it could be under 100,000 yen. So, I do feel a little overwhelmed because it's an overseas brand, but still, there are no other Japanese brands doing it, so this kind of shape, well, this is the only option, but if you say see, I think it's interesting to see what it will be like when a Japanese brand makes it in that price range, and there's no problem with the shape, but on the other hand, as for who it is recommended for, well, as I said at the beginning, the shape of the Massachusetts one is extremely difficult when it comes to down jackets, and, well, I think this is because I make down jackets, but this kind of, well, this is Arcturix Beance, I forget what it is, but it's down, and there are quite a few down jackets that look like Dan, so the pattern isn't that difficult but the one down is originally a bit loose, and if you put down on it, it becomes even bigger, so the shape that makes it look really pretentious is really uncool, which is a common thing with Massachusetts one, especially if you buy something cheap, but it's the same, you can't make the pattern that much, so you can only make a prototype once or twice, so you have to sell it before it's perfect, once you sell it, you have no choice but to sell it on sale, so if you think about high and low, those high-end brands have money to spend on prototyping many times, and they use good materials, so I think there aren't many MA1 down jackets that don't crease and cut nicely. So, I've been waiting for people who have had down jackets up until now but want a down jacket with a slightly different shape. But please be careful. I hope you become like Takoro Suneji so that you don't become a death wish soldier. But I hope you don't look like Takoro Suneji has collapsed. Surprisingly, if you're in the city, it's not a problem at all because the hem is rather narrow, so the wind or heat doesn't escape at all. I'm here now with it open, but the armpits are hot and the wind doesn't escape. The most important thing about a down jacket is that the heat doesn't escape because the fibers don't escape. Everyone just looks at the feeler, but it's also very important that it blocks out heat. So this is actually what makes it Linica, and it's not just about looking cool or whatever, but it's a jacket that's Linica, and that's what this Canada Goose Blazer Bomber is. And this bomber jacket is probably T-A-T-R-A-S, right? So I thought it might be interesting to buy some T-A-T-R-A-S. This bomber jacket is quite casual, so I talked about wearing it in a nice way, but when it comes to T-A-T-R-A-S, it's already pretty nice, so I think it would go with anything, like a G or cargo jacket, so I think it's about twice the price, but, uh, what I was looking at today was, well, this Canada Goose Down jacket. As you know, when you buy a lot of different clothes, the things you look at change. At first, I was just looking at the cool colors and shapes, but then I noticed that the details were well thought out, like how the zippers are designed to be comfortable, how the three necks are tightly fastened, and how the fabric patterns are made and how the armholes are the right size. I started to notice things like that, and I realized that even in those areas, the quality of the product is quite high. To be honest, I always say that even if it's 125,000 yen, if the quality is low, I think it's a bit questionable, but sometimes I'm asked, don't the manufacturer complain about this? But I buy it with my own money, so I don't know why they complain. So, if you're called, please tell me. If you tell me, it will be useful as advice for my future posts so I would really appreciate it. So today, this is a video introducing the Kanagasan down jacket. Let's make another one. Thank you.